Hello! Today we're going to talk about how to locate the notes on the harp. Um, when you're reading sheet music, the first thing you learn is just the letters and the notes, but it's really worthless if you can't use it to sort of locate the notes on the harp. So we're going to start really slow and um, I'm just going to show you a way to find these notes on this. <laughs> and I have a black sheet behind the harp just so you can see the um, see the strings clear, okay? So one thing I want to let you know, and this goes for any harp, um, C's are going to be red and blues are going to be the F's. So um, a lot of people are, you know, get really overwhelmed. They're like, how can we ever tell where we are on the harp because there's so many strings? And um, this is the method that um, you use, and any harp uses this method. So let me just show you. Um, so if you look closely, you can see the red notes here, easy to see. And if you see right here, this is going to be blue. So this is an F, and this is a C, okay? So that's going to be really helpful in locating um, your notes, okay? So, first of all, I want to show you the most important note to remember, okay? Because this is going to let you know where all the other notes are, okay? So, this is called middle C. And when you look at music, if you ever see um, this note right here, it's going to be right below the scale, and there's going to be a little line through it because this is the line below this. This is middle C, okay? So, finding this note is very important because it's going to show you where all the other notes are, okay? So, let me just show you a way to find middle C in your harp, okay? So, this is a standard range harp, um, but really any harp you have, what you're going to do, really simple, find the absolute middle, like look at the harp and then think what's the middle of the harp, okay? And then, since we're looking for a C note, that's always going to be red, okay? So, if you look, there's some notes up here, there's some notes down here, but right sort of in the middle is this note right here. And it's red, so we know it's a C. So if you want to go ahead right now, try to find that note on your own harp. See if it sounds like this. Okay, so this is what middle C is going to sound like, and you'll be able to tell very quickly if this is if if you're playing higher or lower. Okay. All right, good. So, hopefully, you were able to locate middle C. Um, I don't want to go any further in this video because I just want this video alone to um, tell you how to locate middle C because it's that note that's really going to tell you where all the other notes are, okay? So um, again, it's going to sound like this. It's going to be in the middle of your harp and it's going to be a red string because C's are always red. And also, make sure your harp is in the key of C. Um, I am going to also dedicate a lecture solely to tuning your harp in the key of C. So if you're not familiar with that, then watch that first and make sure that your harp is tuned to C, okay? Um, one more time, <laughs> just to make sure it really sticks, okay? We got some notes up here. We got some notes down here, but it's this one right in the middle and it's gonna be red because all C's are red. It's going to sound like this, okay? And once again, when you're looking at music and you see this note, that is the note that denotes this, okay? And the reason I want this entire lecture to be on that note is once again because when you know that note, you can find all of the other notes, okay? So just when you look at this, if you see a note right here, you can kind of tell that 
it's going to be a few strings above that middle C, okay? Just by the way it looks, okay? So it's very important to know where this is because when you know where this note is, you can find all of these notes, okay? So I hope that was helpful. Um, again, if you have any questions, just email me um, if you need any clarification. But um, finding middle C is pretty straightforward. And once you do that, then finding any other note is pretty easy. All right. See you next time.